The same with aerospace, but heading into space. The space company, founded by the Amazon founder, Jeff Bezos, is due to launch its first orbital rocket this weekend. The launch at Cape Canaveral in Florida is a big milestone for Blue Origin as it competes with Elon Musk's SpaceX and the New Zealand firm Rocket Lab, both of which are already running missions for NASA and others. There is a growing number of satellites being launched now as new technologies help more and more private companies make money from them. Let's speak now to Sinead O'Sullivan, who's a former NASA engineer, now among other things, a board member of the European Space Policy Institute in Vienna. Thanks for joining us, Sinead. Explain for us, why is this a big, such a big milestone for Blue Origin? Yeah, this is a big milestone, not only for Blue Origin, but for the wider aerospace defense community. Um, firstly, this new Glenn rocket has been more than a decade in the making. So engineers are obviously very excited about seeing it come onto market. Um, The second thing is really that this, I guess, is going to hopefully enter orbit and then come back down and um, become the second um, largest uh, reusable vehicle after uh, SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket. So this is going to compete directly in many ways with SpaceX. And we have yet to see a competitor really be able to do that thus far. What kind of a threat does Blue Origin pose to, to SpaceX? I mean, they've come to encapsulate the world of private space travel, perhaps because of just how well known its, uh, its, its founder is. Yeah, so certainly Elon Musk is, is, uh, seems to be light years ahead of, of um, other entrants to the market. But SpaceX is not immune from competition itself um, either. You know, I think with the entrance of a new uh, heavy launch vehicle in the segment, is certainly going to spur on um, innovation from SpaceX, but also what is going to be really interesting is to look at cost-wise. Is SpaceX going to have to lower the cost to access to space for its customers? Um, Now, there are obviously lots of payloads to be launched, and certainly New Glenn Vehicle is coming with Amazon's Kuiper as kind of um, satellite communication uh, constellation, which will mirror in many ways the Starlink uh, constellation. So whether or not they are able to eat into each other's customer base outside of their own kind of um, internal projects will remain to be seen. How profitable is this business? Because when you hear about so many wealthy men uh, spearheading these companies, you get the sense that it is a bit of an unprofitable vanity project. Um, Yeah, that's an interesting way to put it. I think what we've seen in the last decade is that the profit center for launch has certainly shifted. Um, initially, there were, you know, there were thoughts that launch itself might be a profitable enterprise. We're now seeing that, you know, launch might actually be a loss leader for, I guess, more profitable or higher margin activities, such as uh, owning, operating, and delivering data from satellite communication capabilities. Okay. So I think, you know, what this new Glenn vehicle from Blue Origin really allows Blue Origin to do is start to be able to think about profits from downstream activities such as satellite communication or upstream activities such as delivering access. Sinead O'Sullivan, unfortunately, we've got to leave it there, but thank you very much for joining us. Do stay with us here on BBC News.